Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to put historical price in Google Sheets. All right, so in Google Sheets, there's a function called Google Finance, which I covered in the last video. So if we look at the syntax of the Google Finance function, this function has five parameters, ticker, attribute, start date, end date, or number of days, and interval. So if we scroll down towards the end, maybe around the uh, middle. So here are the attributes uh, for the information that we can access when it comes to historical data. So for historical data, we can access open, close, uh, high, low value, or O. O means all of the above. Now let's put this function into practice. So here, let's say I want to uh, extract the historical price for Facebook. I want to extract the uh, stock price based on this day range, January 23rd, 2020 to January 23rd, 2021. So I'm going to start by inserting the Google Finance function first. I want to select my ticker. I'm going to press F4 to lock the cell reference. And for the attribute, we can use O, which means we want to extract all the information available, followed by the date of the beginning period, which is going to be day one. I'm going to press F5 to lock the cell reference, and day two will be the uh, end range. For the interval parameter, we can use either daily or weekly. So I'm going to set the interval value to daily and enter. And I'll populate the historical price for Facebook based on uh, this day range. Let me expand the column. And because my formula is linked to a cell reference, here if you want to see the historical price for a different ticker, so we can change the ticker name in this uh, table. I can change Facebook to Google. And the table will get updated to reflect the uh, historical price for Google. We can also change the day period. If you want to see the stock price from uh, January 1st, 2020, uh, followed by 90 days after. So we can insert 90 to reflect that. Want to see the historical price 90 days after uh, January 1st, 2020. All right, so this is want to cover in this video. Just a very quick video showing you how we can use Google Finance function in Google Sheets to extract historical price for different stocks.